Oh, my wonderful Virgos. Hi, it's Robin doing a mid-month for you. Uh, Virgos, you came in fourth for the most watched videos. Maybe we can raise that because you guys have been known to be my favorite. Like, you guys always raise me up. You're the best. So, come on, babies. Welcome back to Robin's Realm. Virgos, okay? Welcome back. Let me start by a solar... Plexus Bell. I just did a few readings and I love to use this to clear the space for you. Virgos, hey, how you all doing? I'm bringing you another Celtic Cross reading. I am inviting you back in, thanking you for being so kind. Everything that you've done, all the all the order um, readings that you've ordered, all the blessings you've given me, which are beyond explanation. Um, Virgo. I gotta tell you something cute. You're the ones I'm gonna tell this to. <laughs> I'm so goofy. You know, I went into this little jewelry place in Dallas looking for birds for Robin's Realm. Look what I found. It's the only one I could find. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. It's just a little pin. But I thought, oh, it's so cute. But I've been trying, having trouble finding Robin things. Anybody got any, let me know. So, I love you. Here we go. Cross watchers are welcome. This really could play out from anybody's perspective, but is genuinely focused for Virgo, Sun, and Rising, and Venus people. So we're trying to give you instruction and guidance and comfort, all right? And you all know that my channel's about encouragement, enlightenment, entertainment, confirmations, and synchronicities. I'm bringing you an oracle to begin. Journey of Love by Alana Fairchild. The pearl threaded. Ooh, that's about everything working together. Number 38, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, divine connections. Ooh, we like that. Your message here, Virgo. Though we labor through the illusion of individuality and have to face our inner challenges in solitude, our spiritual transformation is not an independent event, nor is it for our victory alone. As we approach the enlightened way of all-embracing love, each human being is a pearl of the Divine Mother's garland, gradually assuming luster and revealing beauty, worth, and radiance over many lifetimes. Together we are creating a precious offering in return for her gift of life. We can learn to draw on the collective effort to allow our own journey to become integrated into the journey of the group without being weighed down and instead to be lifted up. To do this, we honor the thread that connects each one of us each of us as one divine being, just like the various fingers that belong on one hand. Then we honor the pearl essence of our divine nature, that we are capable of growth and transformation, becoming divine beauty. This oracle brings you a message. You are to shift your perspective to allow all groups that you're involved in to become a source of energetic lifting rather than deception or depletion, excuse me. They have to be a lifting. Everything you're involved in has to be raising your vibration or you, have, you cannot allow it to deplete you. If a group you're involved in cannot do this for you, then you may not be in a vibrational resonance and it may be time to seek a group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. Trust your feelings and don't be scared to open up and allow yourself to connect with others. That way you can truly know if a group or a gathering is for you or if you need to move on. But do trust that you're not alone on your journey and the soul connections that will nourish you will draw you to them like strands of pearls on the Divine Mother's necklace. And I heard pearl of great price. You know, a pearl is created by being in the the shell, the clamshell, and being tossed around by sand and 
ground together and created into this beautiful, lustrous, high quality gift to the universe. And since it's number 11, I see this as the um, divine number of sacred connection to sacred connection. What a beautiful start for your reading. I'm using the Egyptian tarot. It's the first time I've ever used them for you, to read for you. We're going to take a look at your Celtic cross energy. Because the reason I'm doing that instead of my own free-flowing reading is because um, it covers everything. I mean, Celtic cross is not just about love. It'll, it'll reveal everything. Health, money, love, career. Changes people in, people out what you're dealing with, the way people see you, what, you know. So let's take a look at all of this. Generally, this is for love. If it doesn't resonate, babes, check your moon, which is about your moods, your rising, which is about your character, and outward appearance, and your Venus, which is about love. If you are not Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus... By all means. Or if it doesn't resonate. You want to get a whole panoramic view of what's going on. Especially if you're troubled by something or need need answers in something specific. If it's that specific, you really want to come in and look. Contact me. I'll do a reading for you. I'm doing it for the really low price of $30. Soul Path. Love reading. Based just on you. I'm taking them until the end of the month. So... I'm extending that special offer. All right, let me know if you're interested. Okay, here we go. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, one more. Okay, you guys. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Tor of... Uh, mm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is the energy over your reading. You're either dealing with somebody who's not very nice, they're not very fair, they're not energetic, or they're not being creative at this time. They're not sharing their energy. It could be someone that you know that's not feeling well, too. That's what that is, I think. So you're showing up as, whoa, my bad. You're showing up as the two... Oh, the High Priestess in reverse. What the hell? You know, the High Priestess in reverse is a gossip, right? She tells everybody her stories. She doesn't keep anything sacred to herself. Some of you are not honoring yourselves at all. Clear. What's crossing that? See? Nine of Swords. You're not taking care of your soul right now exactly. There's something going on with you guys, Virgo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, being in a lot of stress. Let me tell you about the, this girl. This energy here. The Empress is the person that knows cosmic laws. She knows universal laws. She knows human laws. She knows God's laws. And she knows how to keep them. By keeping herself sacred. By trusting herself. By moving forward, quietly, containing some information in a sacred space. If she doesn't do that, she finds herself in incredible anxiety and stress trying to control everything. Controlling outcomes will make you stressed. So I don't know if you're doing that or someone's doing that to you. Okay. What is your distant past? What is the hardest thing you've dealt with? Coming out of the uh, making a clear decision, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, making a decision uh, to see things clearly. Finally, coming out of the Eight of Swords where you're in lockdown, you don't know everything, there's secrets being kept, there's things going on around you, you're aware of them, but you don't know what to do about them. What is the recent energy? Three of Cups in reverse. Uh, that's heartbreak. Um... That's probably a third-party situation brought on by this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're not feeling like partying. I'll, I'll, draw, I'll draw cards to clarify these. 
Your higher power is showing up as a tower in reverse. This is what's going on. You're stressing the hell out. You're stressing out about something. Facts, relationship, figures, something, trying to control something. You're trying to control and prevent a disaster from happening. Something sudden and, sh and, and shifty from happening in your space. Um, and you're not celebrating. You're not in the celebratory, or you weren't, leading up to this. So you don't know why. What's the future show? Seven of coins in reverse. Uh, not continuing to build on this ground, wherever you are. It's not solid ground. You've got to get your feet on solid ground, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Seven of coins is where you're looking back and you're nurturing something and you're building it, you're growing it, you're tilling the garden. You're working on it. But seven of coins in reverse... Uh, is either working too hard or not working enough on, on, on something solid. I don't know. Tell me what, the, uh, what they're showing up as. People are seeing you as a fool in reverse. They think you have a new start, but you're not willing to take it. What's your environment? The hangman in reverse. Just, just going right forward without any kind of explanation, uh, knowledge, or clarity. Or you did. Maybe you spent a long time as a hangman learning, waking up, hanging around, learning things, dealing with things, and then know how to solve the problem. And you could very well be doing that. Your concern, though, is this business of uh, dealing with a water sign that walked away? Or are you walking away from something you've been trying to prevent from happening? Outcome. Ace of Wands. A brand new start. Queen of Wands turns around, you realize your divine connection, and you make a change. I'm going to clarify these for you. Hey, Virgo, what's going on? You know, accept, surrender, and release is what I hear. Accept. Something you can't change. Surrender the outcome. And only do what you can do for yourself. Surrender it to God, the divine. And release it. So something new can happen. Tell me about this um, high priestess in reverse. Tell me about the high priestess in reverse. For Virgo. She's not trusting herself. She's. Uh, this is someone who's... Um, Allowing someone in and out of their life to without any kind of grounding or secure relationship. They're allowing this. Um, this person comes and goes. They tell you what they want to hear. They do what they need to do, and then they leave. And they're not steady energy. So she's not trusting herself. And she's not treating her body as sacred. She's allowing someone to come in and take advantage of her. It creates great sorrow. This is not fun. Stressing out, trying to keep the relationship. What's going on with this relationship? Well, it's a very heavy relationship. This person not only is a is stressed out, but they're burdened and and backing down and and fighting, tired of fighting, fighting their mind, fighting with you, fighting to create a relationship. Um, this here is um, the Eight of Swords in reverse in the distance past where you uh, realize that you're desiring peace of mind. The Three of Cups in the recent past brought a tower, third-party energy. Brought a tower moment, brought a change, brought a shift. You didn't want that shift. You were trying to prevent the tower. You're trying to prevent it, but you can't. It happened. You're trying to prevent it from happening again. If you let someone come in that's lackadaisical in your relationship and will not come in and set boundaries and, and give to you, and you can't control it, you're going to be so incredibly stressed. You'll never, ever, ever have your peace of mind and joy. Tell me about the tower up in reverse. Well, the reason is because you think that there's something you need to know yet. You're still searching or they're watching you. The Page of Swords is the spy card. In this case, watching, 
making sure, maybe if I know all the details, maybe if I know what's going on, I can prevent this from happening again. You're trying to prevent yourself from dying from this inside. You can't. Doesn't mean you're going to die. It's just a, a reference to trying to pr protect your own heart. Seven of coins in reverse. Uh, seven of coins not building on that anymore. If if the tower happened and you brought it down, don't go back to a third party. Don't be a side chick or whatever they say, you know. Don't be the third party. Unless you like menage a trois or whatever they call it. Um, um, polyamory, you know. But really, that's so rare nowadays. People are changing. Um, seven of coins not building on this. Building on your own future. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here you are, Virgo. You're stepping up and you're saying, my future is about me my plans, my connection to others. I'm going to take the bull by the horns. I'm going for this. This is my life. I may keep an eye just to protect myself, but I'm not going to control anything anymore. I'm going for peace of mind. Why are people seeing you as a fool in reverse? Because they know you need time to heal. The star is in reverse, Aquarius. They know you need time to heal. A lot of it. And then you've got the seven of cups. You don't think you have many choices. People don't see that you have, you know, they they think you need to be um, clear about your decision. See, page of wands. You're not able to make an offer at this time, but you really want to. Why? Because this this you're worried that someone will not accept it. You're worried that someone will come in with their sword and cut it out, cut you down, and not allow you to say what you have to say. And people see that. Okay, Talk to me about this uh, hangman in reverse as their environment. The chariot. Got to come down off the hangman state. You can't hang there forever. You got to get going. Cancer energy. This is moving away from it. Making a change for, this, for yourself. Yep, it certainly is. This, um, what? Wait a minute, which one am I? Dadgummit, they're always need and charged. One moment. Sorry about my camera. Ah. Still working on getting nice equipment. All right, guys. Let's take a look at this Eight of Cups. This is actually walking away. This is actually leaving. So you got leaving. Speaking your truth and leaving right away for a brand new start. Virgo, that's what I see. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Virgo. Yep, following your heart, Ace of Cups. Filling yourself up, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You, uh, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. But that's you being filled up with joy. That's you allowing yourself to have a new start. Tell me about this Ace of Wands here. Yep. Maybe you have a brand new start with the Scorpio. Look at here. This is a death card. It's Scorpio. Virgo. Or you have Scorpio in your chart. You're finding a way to walk away. Find your happiness. Maybe have a new start or a new relationship with the Scorpio. Perhaps. Making an offer. You have three pages. Now you've got Ace, Ace. Page, page. You have two aces and two pages. Um, page of coins. you got money coming to you, security, and offer. Yeah, someone's going to offer you something grounded and solid for your future. That's what I see with that. All right, you guys. That's um, what I have for you in that. But let me go ahead and click some oracle cards and take a peek. What do the ancestors like to say to you? Earth energies. Virgo. Someone rising in Venus, please. Virgo. Someone rising in Venus, please. Virgo. You guys came in fourth. What? Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're my babes. You guys are my babes. You know that. I have Virgo rising, right? I'm one of you. 
Here goes. Your message from the divine. Whoa. Yike. And let me pull out Romance Angels. I'm going to pull that in a minute. Romance Angels, let's talk to Virgo. What is their Virgo? What does their love life look like? What is your recommendation? That thing just jumped right out. So I'm going to be in, uh, I'm planning to be March 21st and 22nd in L.A., in Burbank, L.A., with Ramble and Mike. Please be there if you're in the neighborhood. Come and get a reading from me. Um, I'm also going to have amazing custom-made incense for meditation and for uh, calling in angels. Um, I might have some clearing kits that I was, damn it. That I'm, I may be bringing those, but I know I'll be bringing Romance Angel decks for sale. And they will have a free reading in them, provided nothing goes wrong, okay? My Virgo side likes to make sure everything's in order before I do anything. And my um, and spirit keeps saying, you need to do this. You need to trust. All right, about this person, deception. Nope, you don't need that anymore. This person's deceptive. Um and you are very attractive, and you are attracting in blessings for yourself. Romantic love is coming to you. You have a Scorpio coming up to a new energy. Um, you are threaded together. You're for going to find the pearl of great price. New love. Told you. All right. And let me see how we're doing for energy. Okay. Let me have a nice historical for this, too. Here we go. You got the strong sun moon, which means that your future holds social invitations, creative pursuits, and joy. One moment, please. Pull this card. What is a card for Virgo? 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 Card for Virgo? Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. Let her inspire you. Believe. This here, Master Number 22 is co-creation energy, so you really have it. And look at these two. I see two, two. All right, so your message, Virgo, is time to lighten up and have some fun under this magical moon. Drop your serious attitude. Release your many burdens and play. Joy is contagious. So become like those born under the strong sun moon and spread the wealth of laughter. You will find yourself drawn to the gifts of beauty and inspiration. Cultural events and endeavors are uplifting for you at this time. You may also have an influx of social limitations, so take hold of the strong sun moon energy. Take others up on their offers and be prepared to be the center of attention. <whistles> hey, that's awesome. I'm excited for you, my beautifuls. What a good reading. There's always some schmucky situation going on, and we've got to talk you through it. We've got to walk with you through it, encouraging you to have a, a, a better experience in your life. I don't know how that happened. So, Virg, uh, Virgo, this is your reading again. $30 readings. Soul Path Love readings for you. And I don't do just three cards, you know, really. I go in and I just let Spirit guide me through this. Um, my darlings, look what's coming up. Look what's coming up. A new love offer. A new exciting relationship, a new adventure, and changes, possibly a Scorpio coming, a new one, new love. Scorpio, you do very well with Virgo, but not everybody's going to be able to rule the roost. That's it for you, my loves. Comment, subscribe, like, share, hit the all, bu all bell button, and tell me what you think, because you know I love you. Okay, namaste, guys. Bye.